are expected more pride is going to be achieved uh, for us here the Egyptians waiting for our heroes uh, to arrive uh, home back home inshallah garnering uh, some uh, trophies and uh, successes and uh, we're very delighted uh, to be having with us live over the phone Mr. Sharif al his General Secretary of the Egyptian Olympic Committee good morning uh, Mr. Sharif Good morning. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, thank you. So, shall we talk about Ahmed Gendi first, or we talk about the latest? Let's talk about Ahmed Gendi because this is a real pride to Egypt. Ahmed Gendi is uh, playing today at 5 p.m. Uh, with Mohamed uh, Shaban from Egypt. Both have reached the final, which mm -hmm. is the last 18 in modern pentathlon. Uh, Ahmed has. Uh, uh, achieved first place yesterday in the semi-final uh, and breaking the Olympic record, which is a great achievement. Uh, let's hope that he can do that today because today is playing for the medals. So uh, hopefully we're all cheering for him and waiting for uh, a new medal to our tally. Right, Mr. Sharif, I want you to explain to our viewers, probably not of us, uh, not every one of us has been following that particular uh, precious game. Uh, so, Ahmed Ginti have brought us pride. I want you to explain to us the game, the nature of the game. It's not that popular, but however, uh, it's one of the best. Uh, we are one of the best in, uh, in the world, uh, when, uh, and we have proved it in this uh, year's Olympics, if you like. Yes, modern pentathlon is, uh, is not a modern sport. It's been in the Olympics since 1912. It's been created by Baron Pierre de Coubertin. Uh, in the early 900s, mm. uh, it comprises of riding, uh, running, swimming, shooting, and fencing. Mm. Uh, the winner is the winner in the total of the four, five events. It's a very tough sport. Yes, Egypt in the last few years has been one of the powerhouses in uh, modern pentathlon on all levels, seniors, juniors, and youth. Right. So what is the latest concerning other games also? I mean, talking about our uh, participation? Uh, till now, Egypt's tally is just one, uh, one bronze medal in fencing. Mm -hmm. But we still have chances today and tomorrow in modern pentathlon and in uh, weightlifting, with Sara Samir also playing today uh, in weightlifting. Right. Um, of course, for every uh, year there is highlights uh, for every, uh, I mean, Olympics. So, uh, uh, talking about the 2024, whom you were impressed with? Uh, well, we expected more medals, so uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, disappointments in the, in oh. the team, especially in the wrestling and in the taekwondo where we ex and, and shooting. Those three sports we expected to, uh, to uh, perform better. Mm. Fencing was the only uh, highlight of our sports till now. Soccer were not bad until the last game. Mm. Handball also were very unlucky with the last loss. They should have made it to the semifinal. So, of course, there has is, there is always been disapp um, yeah, the disappointments and uh, successes. But uh, do you, from your own perception, do you think that we are learning from our mistakes, uh, we are building from our disappointments through uh, to reach to successes uh, in the future? We always learn from our mistakes, uh, but this is sport. This is not a mistake. When you lose, mm. it's not considered a mistake. There is mm. someone who has uh, out, uh, outperformed you, done better. We need to work harder for the future, spend more money to be stronger. Right. How do you uh, assess the competition in this uh, year's Olympics? This is the world's uh, highest uh, sporting uh, uh, rivalry in the world every four years, the Olympic Games. So, uh, yeah, it's the toughest in the world. Only the best 10,500 athletes in the world have the right to compete. It's very tough to reach the Olympic Games Mm. and qualify for it. So uh, well done to every athlete from Egypt, the 148 athletes who have reached to the Olympics, and good luck in Paris, in, in Los Angeles 2028. Hopefully, inshallah. Uh, any remarks uh, before we go uh, over the uh, football games? No, I just want uh, all the Egyptians to pray for Ahmed today. He has mm. a very good chance of reaching 
the podium. Uh, we would love to have the gold medal and hear the national anthem. Hopefully it will happen today. Right. On this note, of course, uh, Mr. Sharif al Ariane, you are General Secretary of the Egyptian Olympics Committee. Thank you so much for talking to us on The Breakfast Show, and best of luck uh, to all of you there. And uh, by this, we come to uh, the end uh, of uh, this edition of The Breakfast Show. Many thanks to all of you. Until we see you again tomorrow morning, that's a goodbye.